Welcome to Neocash Newscast number four, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news from around the world wide web. Be sure to click the subscribe button and be one of the first to receive cutting edge news. The Central Bank of Poland has admitted to paying for a campaign of social media propaganda. In one case, a prominent Polish YouTuber was paid $30,000 to make videos claiming to have lost money on crypto. The Central Bank of Poland, working with the Polish Financial Supervision Authority, has no problem using fraud to dissuade people from looking into crypto. This isn't new by any stretch, and it can be quite outlandish. CNBC wants you to believe that one or two people mining Bitcoin in North Korea means that you could potentially be supporting Kim Jong-un's regime by trading Bitcoin. If you're trading Bitcoin, depending on where you are, there's a chance you might be funding Kim Jong-un's regime in North Korea. Bitcoin mining activity that we saw um, involved uh, more than one of the North Korean IP ranges. This is how you take a fact and turn it into propaganda. After that shocking intro, we get to one of the only facts of the story. More than one IP address was used to mine Bitcoin in North Korea. Uh, which means that uh, it was likely that it was more than one person. At this point, the video delves into pure speculation and boogeyman tactics. The final nail is a guilt trip fit for social media manipulation. Thanks for the rubbish, CNBC. More recently, Venezuela has been attacking Bitcoin on state-run TV. The standard lot of villains is banded about, terrorism, money laundering, drugs, and tax evasion. Now evading the exchange controls is added to the list of demons perpetuated by the Bitcoin. Quote, it was recently reported that many people have been using Bitcoin, an alternative to evade policies on foreign exchange by the Bolivarian government to ensure proper development of the economy, unquote. And finally, we take a look at some old-timey propaganda. Bitcoin is antisocial. That according to a video from TV New Zealand in 2013. Bitcoin business has been described as being, uh, we know about Facebook being a social networking system, as, as an anti-social networking system. Separating your currency from government, from big banks, you know, sitting in your log cabin with your, with your gun. All of a sudden you don't have schools and hospitals and roads and it all gets a bit hard. It's, it's well, that escalated quickly. It just goes to show you need to be mindful about what any media outlet is going to say about crypto. Thanks for watching. New Cash Radio is on vacation this week. We'll be back in March. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share these videos. For Neocash Newscast, I'm JJ. May the trades be ever in your favor.